Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bilcom Burnham & Howe's Sideshow Spectacular. A cavalcade of human curiosities, the likes of which you've never seen before and may never see again. Tonight on this stage, you will bear witness to classic acts of the sideshow and modern day miracles performed live right before your eyes. But be warned, this is not a magic show. There are no tricks or illusions. Everything you're about to see is real, live, and dangerous. All performers risk life and limb, health and well-being, pride and dignity, to amaze and amuse, confound and confuse each and every one of your senses. But know that the louder you are out there, the crazier it gets up here. So if you want to see the wildest and craziest show we can do, you guys need to be the wildest and craziest audience you can be. Let's find out how you're going to do on the count of three. I want to hear everyone stomping their feet, clapping their hands, yelling and screaming, losing your damn minds, so we all have a good time. Here we go on three. One. Two, don't let me down. Three, make some noise! <laughs> Excellent. If you can keep that up, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to give you our absolute best. Now, allow me to introduce your first act here on the Bilkum Burnham and Howe Sideshow stage. Me. Thank you. These guys get it. <laughs> Folks, my name is the Lizard Man, and I will be your host here tonight at Bill Burnham and House Sideshow Spectacular. Now, in case you're wondering, I do want to point out that no, this is not a costume. That's right, I woke up like this. There's no costume, paint, or makeup on my body. What you're looking at is over 700 hours of real permanent tattooing. But it's just the start. Because you may have already noticed these horned ridges over my eyes. They were created by having Teflon surgically implanted onto my skull. And my teeth, well, they've been filed down into sharp points. Check them out. But of course, the reason I'm known as the Lizard Man, well, that's my tongue. Or I should say my tongue's plural, as I do have two. Now, I don't just want you to see my split tongue. I want you to see what it can do. So check this out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah, you like that one, huh, ma'am? <laughs> they all do. But folks, I didn't travel all the way here just to wiggle my tongues at you. Oh, no. I want to share something special with you. It's a little device I like to call my cranial corkscrew. That's because it's a corkscrew for my head. Here's how it works. I'm going to take the tip of it and jam it up my nose. Then I'm going to turn the handle. Because the more I do, this corkscrew will travel through my sinus cavity, down the back of my throat, and ultimately come out my mouth completely transversing my skull. So if you've got a camera, if you've got a camera phone, if you've got a sketch pad, hell, if you've got an Etch-A-Sketch, get it out and get it ready. Because now is your opportunity to record a completely tattooed freak screwing himself for your entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, the cranial corkscrew. Oh. Salty. Oh. <laughs> if you're having a good time, let me hear you say yeah. yeah. Fantastic. 
Now we are just getting started here at Belka Burnham and House, ladies and gentlemen. Right now what I want to do is bring out to the stage our next incredible performer. Please put your hands together and welcome her to the stage, Catalina Askew! Now the beautiful Catalina here, she is our pain-proof pinup, our diva of danger, that's right. And tonight, she is going to perform for you an act that is known as the Walk of Death. She's going to kick off her shoes and take a barefoot walk through a bed of broken glass. Go ahead and spread that glass out for them, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it, it catches the light. Over 100 broken beer bottles smashed and pounded into tiny jagged shards. She's going to spread them out, make a nice little bed for herself, and then she's going to traipse across it with her unprotected feet. Go ahead and kick off those shoes. There he goes. Wait a minute, Catalina. Let's look at this. And I don't think there's quite enough glass there, ladies and gentlemen. Plus, we know that some of you are skeptic. Some of you probably think that that might not be real glass. We're going to break another bottle on it for you right now just to prove it. Here we go. Oh, I think I got an old shard right there. <laughs> there you go. Make sure you spread that around. Nice Catalina. And now, ladies and gentlemen, watch very closely. Get those cameras ready and listen as I place the microphone down so you can hear the glass crunch beneath her feet. We'll start with the left foot in. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen, so far of Catalina Askew on the better glass? Yeah! All right, that was good, ladies and gentlemen, but right now we're going to double the danger. So I want to hear double the applause as Catalina doesn't just stand and walk in the glass, but jumps on it. We're going to do it in three, two, one, jump! Oh! One more time. Okay, two, that was good. <laughs> All right, Catalina, please step off the glass. Show them the soles of your feet. She will emerge completely unscathed, ladies and gentlemen. Brush off those last little shards. There it is. Come on, put your hands together for the Princess of Pain, Catalina Askew. Oh! Now, folks, here at Bill Kaboom and House, we don't just give you one. We don't just give you two. We present in every show no less than three amazing performers. And our featured act here tonight is a man you're going to recognize from AMC's Freak Show, from Ripley's Believe It or Not, and the Guinness Book of World Records. Please put your hands together for the one and the only, Marugan the Mystic! Marugan! Thank you very much, Lizard. I want to hear everybody. I've traveled 3, 000, over 3,000 miles to be here. Come on! Thank you very much. I'm going to present an act right now, but I will give heed. If anyone is pregnant, has a heart condition, or is just ill at constitution, I suggest that you leave immediately. Continue. <laughs> Looks like most of you are here to see the show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like you to think about is how much of our, our senses that we use. We use less than 10%, about 10% of our eyesight. Our eyesight's only allowed to see 10% of the light spectrum. Our brains are basically programmed to use about 10% once again thinking and processing. What if we were to actually be able to tap over into even 11 or 12 percent of the brain? Amazing things can and can be done with this. I'm going to show you the results of my endeavors. I've been studying transcendental meditation for over 40 years. What you're seeing here is completely real. There is no magic. I do not gaff. 